Hi everyone, this is Maria and today we're going to make a super simple soap pump and we're going to use these really cool creatures that glow in the dark that I found at the Dollar Tree. I have some glow in the dark lizards, I have some glow in the dark snakes, and I also have some glow in the dark spiders. You're also going to need a small mason jar like this one here. And you're also going to need a soap pump, which you can find these at Hobby Lobby or Joann's. They also have some at Michael's that are a little bit different, but I do prefer these now, the white plastic ones. And so this is $4.99, so you can definitely use your coupon at any of those craft stores. You're also going to need some clear hand soap. And so I bought this at Target. It was $2.84 for 32 ounces and it's coconut ginger. It has a really nice scent and it's the Up and Up brand. It's the Target store brand. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the lid of your mason jar. So you could just set this part aside. It has the sticker on here, which doesn't really matter because I'm taking that off and I'm just going to use the ring. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove this soap pump from the package and it's got a few pieces in here. It's really super simple to put it together. There's some instructions on the back here. So what I did with these, since they glow in the dark, I set them outside on our patio under the bright sunlight so they could absorb the sunlight and they would glow more. And so I checked them out. I took them to the washroom where it's darker and they do glow. Look at these, aren't they cool? And so I'm going to add these to my jar, just like this. Oops, one of them fell on the floor. And I'm gonna put the green one in there. And let's see, maybe we'll put some lizards in there also, you guys. And so you can mix it up or you can just put one of the type of little creatures in there. And also, you guys, you can put almost anything in these soap jars. They're so much fun to make for Memorial Day and 4th of July. I went ahead and made one with stars, like red, white, and blue, and it came out so cute. So I have a lizard in there. Okay, so we have the snakes, and I'm going to add one of these. Doesn't that look cute already? So let's go ahead and fill it up with some soap. I'm just going to take the lid off, and I'm going to pour some soap in here. These are just so much fun, and these jars hold a lot of soap. I'm able to make two of these with one of these bottles here. Looks really good. You can also add confetti, you know, the sparkly confetti here. And so, but I'm just going to leave it like this. So this is what it looks like right now, you guys. I just think that looks really cute. I also really like this blue spider, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And it's just floating right there at the top. So now let's put our soap pump together. I do have the ring from the jar, and I'm just going to set it off to the side. And what I'm going to do is take this part of the pump and I'm going to, I want this to pop out here, just like that. And so you just sort of twist it and it pops out. So this is the part that you're going to squeeze and the soap will come out. And then I'm going to take this that looks like this big screw here, it's got the grooves here, and I'm going to put this right on top and screw this down. Goes right down, super simple. Okay, so we have these two pieces together. I'm going to set that right down. So then we're going to take this plastic straw and we're going to insert it right in there into the pump. And so I'm just going to put that right in there. It should slide in very easily. Might have to work it just a little bit. Okay, just pushing it in there just a little bit to make sure it gets in there all the way. And then, as you can see, this is a little bit too tall. So you will need some scissors to clip off the bottom. And so I think I'm going to clip off about an inch. So I've grabbed some scissors out of my junk drawer and I'm just going to snip off just an inch. Be careful with your finger. And I think I'm going to snip off just a little bit more. You may have to keep measuring it. And be careful because that will fly. And so, yeah, so I think that will do maybe, let's see, because that's gonna go about right there, maybe just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And so let's go ahead and try that. So now I'm going to take these two pieces that I've already put together, and I'm going to take my soap pump, and I'm going to slide it right through, and I'm just going to turn this and put this together until it stops. 
And there we go, we have our soap pump that's already put together. So now that we have our soap pump put together, you're going to take the ring from the jar and slip it right over, and it should fit just like that. And then we're going to slip that right over the jar, and we're going to tighten it, just like this. You might have to work with it just a little bit, but it does work. And there you go, you guys. It looks so cute. I love how these little creatures look inside. And you can always turn it upside down or sideways to get them to move around where you want them and they'll float. So let's go ahead and take this to my laundry room where it's dark and let's see if they glow in the dark. I took this soap pump jar to the darkest room in our home, which is the laundry room, and while it glowed, it was not an intense glow, so my camera would not pick it up, but it did glow some. And I think this is just really cute, and it would look so cute on a bathroom counter, especially for kids. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you have a great day. Happy crafting! Bye-bye!